<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I recently decided I'm shooting all my video from, from right here, just from this camera angle. I don't know why I was so obsessed with like finding all these different weird camera angles in my office. I was just making more work for myself than I needed to. So this is where we're shooting and I like it. So with that out of the way, what I wanted to talk about today was a mech mod. This is the Omen mech mod and this is something that I got in the vlog. I've talked about it in the vlog a few times and I wasn't sure if I was actually really gonna do a full review video for this only because these Omen mech mods are really difficult to get. They, they happen in limited runs and they're also, I mean, pricey they're just it's just a pricey mech mod there's no way around it i guarantee you all of your vape budget hands are about to explode when i tell you the price of this thing so the first run they did of these first 100 were in brass and they were 489 yes you're hearing me correctly 489 dollars there's no way there's there's <laughs> I don't know why I mumble my words like that. There is, uh, I mean, there's just literally no way around it. That, my friends, is a pricey mod. Now, they are going to do another run of 100 in brass. They're doing serialized 100 through 200. Same price, 480 Nine. Now, I'm not going to be here today to try to justify the $489 price tag on this Omen Mech Mod, but I did want to talk about this Omen Mech Mod because in, regardless of the price, it, it's, it's great. This is a phenomenal mech mod. Like I said, it's machined out of brass, it's got a hybrid 510 connection on top, and it can accommodate up to a 25 millimeter atomizer. This is the Rebel on here right now, and it's 25 millimeters, and it fits on there just perfectly, but if I have like a 24 millimeter Bonza RDA that I can screw down on here, fits. Fits great. If you look around the top, there's like a little gap all the way around, but it's honestly not even a noticeable thing. It'll fit 22, 24, and 25 millimeter atomizers on top, and it actually has a little bit of like a raised ledge on top. You can kind of see right there, all the way around the edge of this 510 connection, it's like a raised little lip. So if your atomizer sits down in there as the Bonza does, then that little raised edge lip kind of comes up and sort of covers the edge of your atomizer. That's it with a 24 millimeter atomizer. Barely, barely noticeable gap because of that extra little ledge that comes up there. And yeah, that's a hybrid 510 connection, which means your atomizer is directly going to be touching the battery. So it is critical that you have an atomizer with a very nice protruding positive 510 pin on there. I've been using this so much that it's become pretty fairly tarnished and dull, but right out of the box, it came, it looked beautiful, like just like a shiny, shiny trumpet. You can easily take some Brasso. I have a Rizzo rag that I'm going to use to polish this, this up shortly, but it's just big and brass and thick. This is all super, super thick thick brass on here. Little notch, boom, right there, just for your hand, just to fit in there just perfectly like this. And then you hit the button with your finger on the bottom. The button's branded with the Omen logo right there. And you have these gnarly big threads, gnarly big threads on the bottom. And let me tell you that the threads on the bottom of this mech mod are just, I mean, <laughs> perfect. They are some of the best threads in vaping that I have ever come across. They're big and beefy, they hold really securely, and they are smooth. Just the smoothest threads that, that just ever exist. It's just buttery, glidey smoothness on these threads. It's so unbelievably just oddly satisfying to just screw and unscrew this just they're so smooth and glidey it's crazy and as thick as this mod is which <laughs> it's thick it, and it is heavy it feels substantial even without a battery in it it is only a single 18650 you know configuration on the inside so 2700s 21700s Forget about it, it only runs on a single 18650. So you're still gonna be kind of tied to that 
18650 battery life. Now on this Omen Mech Mod, there's no Delrin sleeve or plastic sleeve on the inside of this for added protection. And because it vents through the switch, the vent holes are in the switch, you're gonna need to run this positive side down. So when you do that, just make sure, I feel like I have to throw this little disclaimer out there all the time, just make sure that your battery wraps are in flawless, pristine condition. You should always be using batteries with perfect battery wraps anyway and in a mod like this where there's no delrin on the inside of this tube and the vent holes are in the switch and you're going to be running it upside down it's just extra critical importance that your battery wraps are perfect pristine flawless battery wraps the thing is just machined so well your battery just kind of glides in and slides in it, it it's a perfect perfect fit there's just a little bit of space around the battery there and it fits in there like a glove. As far as the switch goes, it is adjustable on the bottom. There's a piece of Delrin and, okay, we're just gonna take apart this switch right now. So here's that Omen Mech Mods switch. You can see the branding a little bit better. They put a little GG on there. Look at that, look how nice that is. Put a little GG on there. New Zealand made. So here is the Delrin and the contact for adjusting your battery rattle and it's reverse threaded. So if you screw it counterclockwise, it's gonna sink down even more. And if you do it clockwise, it's gonna raise up a little bit more. This is something that you'll have to adjust every once in a while, you know, for your battery rattle. It's no big deal. I tend to leave it generally in the same place for like most every battery and RDA combo that I have. Unless your RDA has a really long, like excessively long protruding five pin, a 510 pin, you won't really need to adjust this uh, so much. But you can take this completely out and it'll show you the inside of the switch. So this contact is the contact that's touching your battery, and those two contacts are the contacts that are meeting to connect the circuit all together. And you can take this switch out, you press it down, you see these notches that go all around, you kind of press it down, twist it to the other notches, and then the whole thing releases out, and you have a magnet. You have a magnet in here, and then you have magnets right there as well. And these are opposing magnets, or whoops, well, they're supposed to be if you put them together the correct way. Just shot out of there like a freaking rocket. These are strong magnets, and you want to be careful. So there's the opposing side. So we're going to set this one here. We're going to take this one and put it here. Here. And then that's how it works. These opposing magnets oppose each other and create a cushiony spring of magnetic magnetism. And the easiest way I've found to get this back in here, as opposed to just dropping it in, I kind of just put it on my finger and then place this over it to get it right centered, right there. And then when you're going to go to put this together, be careful that you don't get them too close because this will happen. Ready? Uh, boonk. Yeah, it kind of pulls the magnet back out of there. You kind of have to be a little quick. The magnets really want to jump towards each other, but you can just kind of flip this upside down and push it in here. And if you do it, you know, with a little bit of a fast pace, those magnets aren't going to aren't going to be attracted to each other. You press it down, you turn it till it's at the other notches, then you let go, and there's your switch all assembled, all together, then your Delrin piece just goes back on here. There's not a lot of reasons to take the switch apart unless you're, you know, cleaning out the contacts or something like that. So yeah, there you go. There's the switch. This mech mod it is really intuitive. It, it goes apart and comes together exactly how you would expect it to. It's honestly just top to bottom, probably one of the nicest mech mods I have ever used. In my nine and a half years of vaping, I think this Omen is the nicest mech mod I've ever used. And like I said before, because that copper is so thick on this tube, it just, it, it just hits, it just hits and it hits real well. I am intensely satisfied by this vape and the way that this mech mod is hitting. Let's go ahead and juice up these coils so I don't get a nice uh, dry hit. Still using that uh, Water Malone from uh, DIY Vaping, uh, Mr. DIY or Die from Liquid Barn. Just, I mean, it's just a great flavor. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. There's just a few objectively undeniable things with this mech mod. The way that it's constructed it is beautiful. The machining is amazing. The threads, 
the button, the switch, the magnets, the way it all goes together, the thickness of the copper, the way that the top is machined to accommodate atomizers. You can tell a person that really loves mech mods designed this mech mod. I genuinely wish that there was something I could fault this mech mod on, but I honestly can't. This is literally just a gush fest for this Omen mech mod. I even like their logo and I like that it's engraved on the side and even the engraving on this logo looks sharp and crisp and it's a cool logo and it's engraved on there and it just feels nice and smooth it doesn't have any sort of like weird chalkboard textures or anything like that again i get the vibe that the people or person that designed this mech mod are not only like avid mech mod users but they they really understand what makes a mech mod great so i mean we, we've already talked about vape budget hands 400 and $89 for this mech mod. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game where the aliens come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Omen something I'm gonna seek out and buy? Probably not, dude. $489 and look, I'm not against spending money to get a higher quality product. That is something that I absolutely believe in. And if this was, just a little bit lower in price. I could see myself spending, uh, I, I wanna say I would spend like up to $300 for something like this, but beyond that $300 mark for like a really nice high-end mod, it's just, it's just out of my vape budget hands, man. These are made in uh, New Zealand uh, in a city with a name that I can't pronounce. T Turanga? T Turanja? I think it's Turanga. It's New Zealand. And Omen Mods in New Zealand has made just a bangin' rad. I mean... <laughs> This is a rad, rad mech mod. But I guess I'm gonna end this by saying it's expensive. It's just expensive, but it is also probably the most beautiful, well thought out, well working mech mods that I have ever used. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That, I genuinely don't know why that, oh, it happened, just happened again. Just happened again. It's just something with magnets. You just have to be careful with them, man.